Hello everyone. Welcome back again to Real Repairs for Real Customers. I'm very fortunate in that in my 10 year old car the dash is still like brand new. But of course we see many vehicles with dashes that are beyond repairing even. And certainly for the customer the cost of a new dash could be prohibitive. Fortunately though there is an alternative to fall back on. It's a compromise that uh, is available for some certain models of cars. Would you like to see a couple of applications of that? Then come along. So of the two dashes we're going to consider the first one is one of those 07 to 14 Chevrolet GMC style dashes and this one is broken in every mounting point and it's caved in. Well the glass installer decided to pick it up and when he did it broke off so now he's stuck with having to put a cap over it since he's not going to put a new dash in the vehicle for the guy. Just a little something to placate the customer. The second dash that we're going to consider is the Infinity FX35 dash. A lot of these, of course, have uh, gone bad and bubbled up. And it too is beyond the scope of repair or even replacement. So a dash cap is called for here. Fortunately, one has recently become available. Now back to our Chevrolet dash. What we have done here is just dry fit the dash cap as it's come in. It came in uh, pre-colored and so with the dry fit here we get the customer to agree to the fit of the cap and also agree to the color. He was a bit concerned that his wife uh, may not like the color but really uh, even though the color is not an exact match it fits the vehicle quite well and uh, so under the circumstances uh, he was very happy to accept it. So only now we can go ahead with getting it ready for installation. So I set it on a table with the drop cloths down that way I can avoid scratching the color off the top of the dash. And even though it's already scuffed on the underside I'm going along with a hundred grit just to dig it a little deeper and get a good bond. Be careful there, you just set the camera up and then walk right into it. <laughs> so uh, a little heavier scratching with a hundred grit uh, just gives me the added assurance that I'm getting a good uh, surface there for the adhesive to bite onto. Here I'm following up with an alcohol prep. That'll get all the dust and it'll also dry out really quick. And moving on to the silicone adhesive. It's a good idea if it's cool weather to warm that silicone up either on your defroster in your vehicle or let it warm up in some hot water. Otherwise you'll have a tough time. It's probably a good idea to go all the way around one time, make sure you have coverage all the way around the perimeter, and then judge how much more silicone you have left over for the rest of the job. The wide flat areas get no adhesive because they need to be able to move, just like uh, vinyl siding needs to be able to move with the temperature on your house. The dash is also prepped the same way, scratched up with 100 grit, and then cleaned up with some alcohol. And there we have it, like a glove. Since I have bounty towels on the truck, it's always available to wad some up and stick it between the windshield and the cap. 
It's also very easy for the customer to remove later on after the cap has set for a minimum of four hours. And I'll just add some two inch green tape to hold down the ends. Should have got a longer piece for that one. Again, this is pretty simple for the customer to remove all of this after it's been set for a while. Looks pretty good overall. This of course is a different vehicle, but the same model of vehicle. I keep this video on my cell phone. So if I have a customer that asked about it, how is it gonna look when it's installed? Show them the video. That way they can be pretty confident that that's uh, what they want to order. Now let's move on to the Infinity FX. This is at a used car dealership where they install their own caps. So my involvement here is just to mix a custom color for them. Now for the first coat, could I suggest a very light coat, kind of get a bit of an even coverage, but do not try to hide all of the black. You want a rather thin coat. A thin coat dries really quickly. Consider it like a tack coat. It's getting adhesion on there without being too heavy. Now, if you sprayed it too heavy, you might chance fish eyes. Whereas with a nice light first coat, once we come now with a heavy second coat, it will not fish eye. So that's a big advantage to a light coat the first time around. Of course, you want to get every edge and every end Again, being patient and just putting a light coat, kind of even, but just a very light mist coat here for adhesion purposes. Okay, now with our second coat, we are also, like the first coat, we're going to target specific recesses and turns and ends and the edges of every opening. Uh, once we target all of that, then in the wide spaces, we're going to put a heavy coat. We're, going to, we're not going to adjust the gun. We're just going to move slower with the gun Move really slow and maybe a little bit more overlapping because this is where we get the full coverage. In this instance, I am using a color that was a, a leather dye initially, but I added plastic primer to it as I adjusted the color. So we have sort of the strength uh, and the durability of the plastic primer along with some of the flexibility of the leather dye. Mixing two polymers here, which a chemist might not say to do it, but uh, in the field it really works well. This is the third and final coat. I am not targeting any areas, particularly on the dash. I am just wanting to get a nice even coating across the entire dash. So you could say that this coat is just to assure that we have a uniform appearance. 
I thought I'd stick around and help with the installation. Since it's going to be a tough one, we've removed the A-pillar trim and uh, also the weather stripping around the door opening just to give us some extra room. And here I'm, of course, giving Tyrus the heavy end. This is pretty much a two-man job because uh, it involves pulling and pushing and twisting and might even uh, employ some uh, unique vocabulary before it gets all the way home. But of course, there's only the two of us here and uh, we ain't admitting to nothing. Oh, there we go, finally. So Tyrus has just recently got married and my wife and I had the privilege of going to his house for the reception and meeting his beautiful bride. In fact, I don't think I've seen him happier since the day that we got this dash cap installed finally. And here's our final overall look. And that's all there is to that one. Perhaps I should have titled the video, If it's ugly, put a cap on it. And if you must, as I do, might I suggest a Panama hat. Not made in Panama, made in Ecuador. And for the cooler weather, might I suggest a fedora. Even though this one needs a little bit of reworking at the time. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have at least found a little something that helps you and your business to be successful. And thank you in advance for subscribing.